Hello there, and how are you all doing today? Oh, you are? Well, that is just super, and so am I. I'm still well and healthy and vertical. After one year and one week in quarantine and virtual house arrest, how about that? Hmm. Yes, I did have my first vaccination a couple of weeks ago. It was the Pfizer vaccine, and I had absolutely no adverse effects from it at all. Now, I'm just waiting patiently for the second vaccination, <laughs> whenever that may be. But I won't be allowed my freedom until the second one has been given. In the meantime, I'm planning my latest escape and I'm going to Portugal. Well, why not? Do you know what the temperature is in Portugal? It's around 20 degrees Celsius, or that's 68 degrees Fahrenheit. While here in England, ha, it's only eight degrees Celsius, or 46 Fahrenheit. So who wouldn't want to pop off to somewhere warm like Portugal, eh? <laughs> It was a fellow who uses the YouTube name of Cinco Estrelas Fabulosas who made the request. Oh, that's, by the way, that's Portuguese for five fabulous stars, by the way. He asked me to make a nice short flight between Faro, which is LPFR, and Lisbon, LPPT. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, as with all my other flights, I looked up the route to see if there was a commercial carrier and discovered that TAP Air Portugal flies that same route. So I shall follow their flight TP1904 today. Now, TAP uses an Airbus A319, so we aren't too dissimilar from the 737. So if you're ready, Let's make our pre-flight preparation, shall we? We need to look at the route and examine the flight plan so we can know what to expect, all right? Now, the first thing we need to do is check out the weather. And I do that by going to windy.com and entering the code for Faro Airport, which is LPFR. As you can see here, the winds are blowing generally from 30 degrees at 5 knots. The conditions are listed as clear and visibility OK. The airport is currently operating under VFR. So, checking out the runway information here, we can see that departures will in all likelihood be using runway 10. Now let's put in the code for Lisbon, that's LPPT. Winds here are from 360 degrees at 2 knots, and like Faro, the airport is currently operating VFR. Looking at the runway information, I'd say it was a sure bet that we will be landing on runway 03. What do you think? Now over to Simbrief and our flight plan. We put in the information. RYR for Ryanair and 186 for the flight number. We depart from LPFR and arrive at LPPT. Today we're going to use LPBJ Airport at Beja as an alternative airport. 
By the way, this is the actual flight plan as filed by TAP Flight TP1904. Our equipment is a Boeing 737-800 and it is an Irish registration of EIENI. -E our departure runway is 10 and arrival runway is 03. All seats are full with 184 passengers and there is one ton of cargo on board. Half a ton in the forward hold and half a ton in the rear. The flight plan shows an SID, that's the standard instrument departure, using the Odemi 2F to the Odemi waypoint. Then taking flight route A5 to the Troyer waypoint and finally using the Troyer 8 Alpha ILS approach to runway 03. The flight distance is listed as 178 nautical miles. And this is what the flight plan looks like. Now switching over to Navigraph, I imported the flight plan and here it is. So let's look at the SID and we will be that we will be using and put it on screen as an overlay. This is how it looks. Look at that, all the waypoints are already calculated. Here is the Troya 8 Alpha overlay showing the ILS approach to runway 03. Again, all the waypoints are automatically calculated with this approach. Now, looking at the Faro Airport plate, there is only one runway which is 8,169 feet long. We'll be departing on runway 10, so the headings we need to be set to 103 degrees for departure. And these you can see are the frequencies for ATIS, ground and the tower. We'll depart from stand 434 right here. So the pushback crew need to put our nose to the left when we start the engines. Upon landing at Lisbon, we will attempt to park at stand 106. The final course heading for runway 03 at Lisbon is 026 degrees. The localizer frequency is 109.1 and the transition altitude here is 4,000 feet. We will use the radio altimeter to set the decision height to 50 feet as we are a Category 3 Alpha aircraft. So, there's the pre-flight briefing completed. Now there's one other thing to add, and that is I'm going to be using full IFR procedures today. Now, previous versions of P3D had an AI that acted, well, odd to say the best, such as refusing to allow a descent until almost too late, and then demanding an expedited descent that would surely have upset any passengers. So because it appeared unreliable and contrary, I stopped using it. But I'm assured there is an updated AI running in the new version 5. So I shall load into the flight plan for a full IFR flight to see how it works out. But I have to have a word of caution. If the AI instructs a vector approach, then I'm going to have to watch my altitude and speed very closely because, well, for those of you who are pilots, you'll know how very easy it is to end up too high and too fast for a safe landing. If you're ready to escape with me to sunny and warm Portugal, then let's climb on board Ryanair 186 and get the cockpit programmed and prepared. Are you ready? Then let's go. Come on in. 
take your seat, buckle up, and let's have a flight. And where are we going to today? Well, we are here at Faro in southern Portugal. We are at stand 434 and we're going to fly to Lisbon today. So it's going to be a nice little trip. Now I do have something new today. As you know, I use two computers to set things up. One computer over here runs these three external screens and I use wide view for that. Today I have got wide traffic installed. So it's going to be interesting to see how that translates from here to, to there. <laughs> I don't know yet. So this is the first flight and this is a test flight. So if you're ready for a test flight, well, let's do it. Okay, battery on, fuel pumps on, and let's start the APU. APU, as you know, is the auxiliary power unit. It's located in the tail of the aircraft and it's going to generate 115 volts once it gets cranked up and then we can use that 115 volts to power everything in the aircraft until we need to start the big engines in which case the compressor in the APU is used to spin those engines and get them started that's how it works okay the EGT is coming down in a moment. This blue light will come on. And then there it is. We now have 115 volts. So we're set to go. We'll turn on the galley. Emergency exit lights. No smoking. Fasten seat belts. And here we've got the window heat left and right we have the probes electrical pumps the lights here show that the forward service hatch is open and that the air stair is extended we turn on the APU bleed now as soon as we do this you will start to hear the sound of the air pushing through all the air vents in the aircraft. So let's turn it on. There. And there's the gauge showing us the pressure. All right. We'll also turn on the navigation lights. And we are ready now to program the FMC. Sarah, airport information, Yankee 1050, wind, Zulu, visibility 151 at 4, greater than 20 miles, sky condition, temperature, few clouds at 2500, two point, altimeter 1814, 1026, landing and departing, runway 10, VFR aircraft, say direction of flight, all aircraft read back hold short instructions, advise controller on initial contact you have, Yankee. All right, we have information, Yankee. It's going to be runway 10 for departure. So we'll put in our position and we are LPFR. Now according to the chart here, stand 434 is 37011 and 07579. So that's this one, and we will put that in. Go to the root.
and our destination is LPPT. We are Ryanair 186. Go to the next page and here's where we put in our flight plan. Odemi is the first point, point of call, so we're going to go to O D E M I. And then we go via A5. Until we get to Troya. T R O I A. That's it. Activate. And that is done. Now we'll put the fix in. So well, we'll do the departure and arrival. Let's do the departure and arrival, runway 10, and we'll be departing on the Odemi 2F. That's this one. On the arrival is ILS 03. And we'll be coming in on the Troiba 8A. That's that one. Now what we'll do is we'll run the plan and see whether or not the legs are working. We're looking for breaks in continuity here. Ah, here we go. There's a break. Let's see where that break is. It's right at PESX. Okay, there's PESX. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to move, see that, and move that up there. And then when we run through the, it's perfect run all the way in. Okay. Now we'll perform this. We have 5.165, we have enough fuel on board. Four point six is the total flight plan. 2.5 for reserves, cost index is 6, our flight altitude is 180, the cruise wind is going to be 205 at 10, transition altitude is 4000 feet. Execute that. 18 degrees. Flaps 10. And now we're ready to put the information in. But we will also put in the forecast. One oh two seven at our destination. And uh, flight level two hundred is two eighteen seventeen. Two nineteen at thirteen. And that one is two thirty one at nine. And 
and execute that. All right, we're ready to put the information in. Our departure course is going to be 103 because that's the runway we're using. We'll set this to 144, which is our rotation speed. I've got 9,000 feet in here. We don't know what ATC is going to give us. 103 is correct in that. Now we have a look at this 109.1. What's the elevation? Uh, 375 is the airport elevation, so we'll need we'll do 350 for the landing altitude in our pressurization. All right, things are looking good. Everything seems to be working. Nothing has gone up in smoke yet, which is always a good thing. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. Right, it's now time to get our clearance for the flight. And we are flying... IFR today. So let's let's hear what uh, they have to say. Oh, and our minimums are going to be 50 on the radio. So we now have that set. Okay, so let's uh, Request an IFR clearance. Fair ground, Ryanair 186, ready to copy IFR clearance to Lisbon. Ryanair 186 is clear to Lisbon Airport as file. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 5000. Departure frequency is 11 minor point four score 1251. Ryanair 186 clear to Lisbon Airport as file. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 5000. Departure on 11 minor point four score 1251. Ryanair 186 red badge is correct. Contact ground on 118.575 when ready to taxi. Well, we have our clearance. We're to fly to 5000 feet at which time they will give us further clearance. So we select 5,000 here. Now let's check our flight plan. And we have a good flight plan, so we'll select everything. Now we'll bring up the doors and the stairs. Everybody's on board. We'll look for these two lights to go out. That will tell us that we are ready to do our push back and start. Everything is clear. All right. Crew, we're about to start, so we'll request our taxi now. Fair ground, Ryanair 186 with Alpha, ready to taxi by FR. Ryanair 186, taxi two and hold short at runway one zero via taxiway Bravo Alpha Car. Contact tower on one one eight point two when ready. Taxi hold short runway one zero via taxiway Bravo Alpha Car. Ryanair 186. Well, we have our clearance. Now we're going to request a taxi that will push us back and put our tail in that direction so that we can taxi in that direction to go to the active runway. So if you're ready, let's turn off the air conditioning and we'll request the pushback. And we're going to have our nose turn to the left by 90 degrees 
carpet to ground. Go ahead. We've been cleared for push and start, tail to the right. Copy that, ready for push, tail right. Police burn red, please. Brakes released. Here we go. All right, we're going to start engine number two today. So we'll switch this to generator two. The start valve has come open. We're looking for this number to climb, the N2 number to climb to 24, and then we're going to introduce the fuel. And there's 24, introduce the fuel. The low pressure light has gone off, and 2 is climbing. There it goes, there's the engines. They have caught. And we have 115 volts. Now we will switch on the start for engine number 1. Start valve has opened up. The N2 is climbing. In a moment, the low pressure light will come off. When this gets to 24, we'll introduce the fuel. There we go. Push back complete, perfect, please. Parking brake is on. Brake set. now to the generators from the main engines, turning on the air conditioning, turning off the APU bleed and switching off the APU. We're now running everything off the main engines. So now we go down that way and taxi. look around, make sure there's no kamikaze pilots around or vehicles. We're looking good. We'll apply a little bit of power to get ourselves unstuck. And here we go. This is not a bad looking airport, the Pharaoh one. It's got a lot of good detail. And my frame rates are maxed on this, so I have full frame rates. And I'm running wide view and wide traffic so this is going to be very interesting I 
I'm also running Active Sky both on this computer, the main one, as well as the external one. So the weather is going to be fairly accurate, I think. Wave to the nice people in the tower. <laughs> ah, yes. And keep a good lookout for any other traffic. Stick our hands out because we're going to turn right. Ha! Ah, gotcha. Oh, 
stop lines at runway 10. Okay. Lights are on. Continuous. We'll do the check. And recall is check. Briefing bleeds are on. Engine start switch is continuous, cabin is secure. We are ready to request. Fair and tower, Ryanair 186, ready for IFR departure, runway 10. Ryanair 186, cleared for takeoff, runway 10. Cleared for takeoff, runway 10, Ryanair 186. We are cleared to go. Cabin crew, please secure for departure. Taxi out into position. Make sure there's nobody coming.
wipe out, I'll wake you up and call you back as soon as we're on our descent. How's that? See you in a bit.
issues on you know, smoking lights are on recall is check auto brake is check landing data is correct approach briefing is complete
you say a word, not a word.
this is the one. Turn in here. Is uh, open. All right, we have landed and we didn't crash. Well, there wasn't much in the way of traffic. I expected more traffic since I'd set it to 50% actually in this one and it was supposed to transmit to that one. Unfortunate that we have the red X's on this. It means that the sewed wasn't operating properly. Perhaps that's because the airport was lower down than it should be in the list of uh, sceneries. I'll have to check into that. But no matter, we're here and now we'll shut down. So as they say locally, Benvenuto a Lisboa. Did I say that correctly? I hope so. Welcome to Lisbon. All right. Off, 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 off and off 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 and off and everything is shut down we made it See you on the next flight.